parts included in your 9802 supercharger adapter kit. Also the hardware that is included. Please note the length difference between the 25 and 20 millimeter bolts. Your supercharger will need to be adapted at a local machine shop to be fit into the supercharger kit. Instructions will be provided on the heights that are needed to be removed from the bottom of the supercharger. The front pulley will also need to be removed and flipped over 180 degrees, unless you decide to use an aftermarket pulley assembly. Also shown are the injectors that will be used within the kit as a recommendation. Please take care when installing the injectors into the adapters as to not damage the O-rings. Note the orientation of the connector toward the intake. And a ball driver is highly recommended for the installation of the five millimeter screws that hold the fuel rails in place. Note the offset of the adapters that will be installed onto the top of the engine. 25 millimeter bolts are used at the front of the adapter set. You will want to put the bolts in before placing the front idler into the bracket assembly. Tighten the bolts to hand tight to allow slight movement within the adapter and allow alignment while placed on top of the engine. The rear bracket uses 20 millimeter long bolts for assembly. Place it in the hole positions that are midway to the back of the adapters and repeat, making them hand tight. Next, we are going to test fit the adapter set on the top of the engine. Insert the factory bolts back into the timing covers. Those who've got the M60 kit will use the spacers included. Now use the seven millimeter included bolts to align the adapters onto the top of the block. Either four or six of the bolts are all that is needed in this step. Now we'll tighten the adapter bolt to the block using a nine millimeter 12 point socket.
with the kit snugged up, now tighten up the braces across the adapter bracket so we can remove this as one piece of an assembly and then align the supercharger in place for drilling the rear mounts. Remove the hardware in reverse order of what we installed a few minutes ago. Now install your supercharger back onto the assembly on your workbench so that we can align and mark the holes for the bottom mount. Use the factory hardware to secure the supercharger to the front idler brace. Flip the assembly over to access the two hole locations. Be careful to remain the alignment on the assembly. Mark with a punch or a sharpie so that the indicated holes are still visible. Remove the hardware and remove the supercharger. Now you can install your choice of threaded inserts into the bottom of the supercharger. Be careful not to drill through the case and allow a pressure leak. Now would be a good time, if you plan to hide some of the wiring, to install your wire harness through the valley of the engine block, allowing the wires to get to the starter Thanos solenoids, air conditioning, etc. The included metal gaskets are from an N62 engine. So they will be using two alignment holes. Also, make sure that the embossing is pointed up. Note the alignment of the threaded holes. These are the all the alignment that is needed for these gaskets. Carefully place your adapter back on top of the engine and maintain the gaskets in position. Replace the front bolts. Now install all 10 of the plated seven millimeter adapter bolts. They will be torqued final in this step. Final torque is approximately 25 foot-pounds, starting from the center and working out on each adapter. You may also choose to use blue Loctite on these fasteners. Also, retighten the front idler bracket. Now would be a good time to check pulley alignment 
for the belt at the front of the engine. You can see the gap that is at the rear of the pulley from its previous alignment. This is also a good time to install the injector harness. Use the factory gaskets on the intercooler to adapter joint. Align the first hole loosely with a piece of hardware and then install the rest of the hardware. You'll want to lift the intercooler to the top of the adapter before final torque. You can see the space available for the injector harness. Please note the injector's alignments. Install the opposite intercooler the same way as the first. Now we can make the final installation of the supercharger. Now you can also install the rear hardware through the holes into the holes that you prepared previously. Next, install the throttle body adapter to the intake. You'll note the area that can be removed with a burr to improve airflow. Test fit the intake into the assembly, making sure to install all of the intake hoses to the intercoolers. Alignment of the clamps that hold the hoses in place will be tight, so note their alignment. Don't forget to use the factory gaskets on the supercharger to intake. If your alignment is too critical, you can remove some material from the throttle body. Note that clamp can be pretty tight up against that throttle body. Push it to the back as far as you can. Install the throttle body with the original bolts included. install the top gasket for the supercharger to intercooler and install the rest of the intake. Use the factory hardware to install the brackets to the intercooler. Make sure they're tight to make sure there's no pressure leaks. Now you can test fit the drive belt. Note the alignment within the image. may need to clearance part of the thermostat housing for the belt alignment. It's pretty tight, you might need to take two or three millimeters off. But there you have it, there's your supercharger installation. The intercooler plumbing 
intake and the rest of the installation is going to be up to the installer as each installation will be different.